Fedora 42 vs PopOS Cosmic Desktop Which Linux distro is right for you in 2025? Welcome to today's video where we dive into a detailed comparison of two of the most popular Linux distributions, Fedora and PopOS. Whether you are a developer, gamer or someone looking for a reliable, user-friendly system, understanding the strengths and differences between these two can help you choose the right one for your needs. Overview Fedora is sponsored by Red Hat and is re-owned for embracing the latest technologies. It offers a clean vanilla GNOME desktop experience that many developers and tech enthusiasts appreciate. Its rapid release cycle means you often get access to the newest features and kernel updates, but sometimes that comes with a need for additional tweaking. Now, PopOS, developed by the System76, is built on the top of Ubuntu. It's designed to offer a polished out-of-the-box experience, with special emphasis on hardware integration and performance optimizations, with a focus on productivity and gaming. Especially for NVIDIA users, PopOS streamlines the process so you can get up and running quickly. Now let's talk about the usability and desktop experience. Fedora's approach is to provide a pure GNOME experience. Its interface is straightforward and minimalist, appealing to users who prefer a system that is close to upstream software. However, some users might need to install tweaks or extensions to customize the desktop to their liking. Now, PopOS. PopOS takes usability a step further by integrating custom enhancements into GNOME environment. The result is a refined interface that emphasizes ease of use and productivity. It's particularly attractive for those transitioning from other operating systems, thanks to its familiar layout and simplified workflows. Both distributions are designed with performance in mind, but PopOS often wins out for those who want a system that just works from the moment you install it. Now let's talk about the performance and stability. First, the Fedora. Fedora is known for its bleeding edge updates and modern kernel versions, which means it's always on the forefront of innovation. This commitment to the latest technology can sometimes introduce minor instabilities, but it's a boon for users who need the latest software features. Now let's talk about the PopOS. By contrast, PopOS is geared towards stability and performance, especially for resource-intensive tasks like gaming and creative work. Its integrated driver support, particularly for NVIDIA GPUs, ensures that hardware compatibility is as smooth as possible right from installations. Both systems perform admirably on modern hardware, so your choice might come down to whether you prefer cutting-edge updates which is Fedora or more curated stable experience which is PopOS. Now let's talk about the package management and software ecosystem. First, the Fedora. Fedora uses the DNF package manager with RPM packages. Its repositories are comprehensive, though you may sometimes need to enable third-party repositories for proprietary softwares or drivers. Now let's talk about the PopOS. With its Ubuntu roots, PopOS relies on the APT package system. This means a vast software repositories and excellent support for a wide range of applications plus a streamlined process for installing and updating drivers. Both systems offer robust communities and extensive documentation, ensuring that you have plenty of support whether you are troubleshooting issues or simply exploring new software. Now let's talk about the driver support and gaming. First, the Fedora. Fedora emphasizes open software drivers by default and can deliver great performance once you set up and necessary proprietary drivers, often via third-party repositories like RPM Fusion. Its focus on the latest kernel means excellent support for newer hardware, though some manual configuration might be required. Now, the PopOS. PopOS stands out with its out-of-the-box support for NVIDIA graphics. The distribution is optimized for gaming and creative work with features like dedicated gaming mode and seamless driver integration that minimizes setup hassle. 
For users who prioritize gaming or rely on specific hardware optimizations, PopOS might have the edge. While Fedora offers a more open source first approach that appeals to developers and enthusiasts who enjoy a bit of extra configuration. Now let's talk about the community and support. Both Fedora and PopOS have a vibrant active communities. Fedora's community With a strong ties to Red Hat, Fedora benefits from extensive documentation, forums, and community projects. It's a great environment for those who like to experiment and learn through community collaboration. PopOS Community PopOS leverages the broader Ubuntu ecosystem, making it accessible for beginners and non-technical users alike. The friendly support channels and extensive online resources make it easy to troubleshoot common issues. Your experience with the community support will largely depend on your comfort level with Linux. Fedora's community might be more appealing if you incline to dive deep into configuration and customization, whereas PopOS offers a more streamlined experience. Now finally, let's talk about the conclusion. In summary, choosing between Fedora and PopOS comes down to your personal priorities. Choose Fedora if you are a developer or tech enthusiast who value cutting-edge updates and a pure GNOME experience, and you are comfortable with a bit of extra tweaking for the latest features. Choose PopOS if you prefer a highly polished, user-friendly system that works seamless out of the box, especially if you are into gaming or creative work and need excellent hardware support. Both distros are excellent choice for 2025, and your decision will ultimately reflect your workflow and preferences. Thank you for watching this comparison. If you have any questions or want to share your experience, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Linux insights.